Hello and welcome to the Mike Less Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Less guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey YouTube, how about some sugar beet harvest? I'm pretty excited to bring my first ever sugar beet harvest video to my YouTube channel. Of course, when it comes to different types of agriculture, my channel's got about everything, but this is one thing I was lacking. So hopefully this is one of many sugar beet harvest videos to come. Before we start talking about the machinery involved to harvest sugar beets, let's take an up close look at some fully grown sugar beet plants. As you can see, they are a root crop with a green top here. Sugar beet harvest up in this part of Michigan will normally start sometime in September and will go up till they get a good hard freeze, but usually it's wrapped up by mid-November. There's several different places in the country where they do grow sugar beets. The Thumb area of Michigan is a huge area for it. I remember a time when they used to grow quite a few in Ohio. You don't see these in Ohio anymore. And then the Red River Valley in North Dakota. And I know there's some spots in Montana, Colorado, and probably other places as well. Up here in the Thumb of Michigan, they are not into sugar beet harvest full swing yet. Although most of the sugar beets are ready to dig, they can only harvest as many as the processing plant can take. They have to wait till the weather cools down before they start stockpiling these where they will keep. So what they're doing right here is what they call the early dig. They're pretty much just digging them. And this farm here is actually stockpiling these at the end of the field. And they can set there for three or four days. At the end of the video, you're going to see another machine that's going to pick up these piles of sugar beets, load them onto a truck where they can haul them to the processing plant. This early dig gives everyone a chance to get in the field and start harvesting here before the weather gets too bad. But once the weather cools down, I believe they told me under 50 degrees or right at that 50 some degree mark, then they can go into harvest full swing where they can stockpile them. The pile will stay cool where the beets will keep and then they can process them through the winter and so forth. So right now, as I said, he's going to haul these to the end of the field where he's stockpiling them. They'll keep there for a few days, and then they'll haul them to the processing plant. But once that weather cools down, they can haul them right from the field directly to the truck where they can take them either to the plant to store them, or they'll have several different places throughout Michigan here where you see where they stockpile the sugar beets. Getting these sugar beets harvested can definitely be a race against the weather with the rain, the snow, and a hard freeze. The big red harvester you see out here is a Grimmy Rexar Model 630. This is a self-propelled harvester that is built over in Europe. As far as I know, these self-propelled beet harvesters are fairly new to the U.S. You see these over in Europe. I seen one when I was over in Austria probably about 15 years ago. You're starting to see them over here now. This is quite a machine here. This is topping the beets or mowing the green tops off, digging them, stockpiling them, and as you can see, loading it onto the beet cart after that. This machine is 625 horsepower and weighs in at 32,000 kilograms, which if my calculations are correct, that is 70,547.924 pounds. Quite a machine here. A lot of times up here what you'll see is one tractor and the topper will go through and mow the tops off the beets, and then another tractor will come through with the digger on it and side load it into a cart. This machine here is doing it all in one pass. And later on in the video when I show you loading them the piles of beets, the machine that does that is something else as well. So there is a lot of just big awesome machinery in this video. And running beside this beet harvester, keeping the beets away from it to the pile, is a Challenger MT755D track tractor pulling this cart. Sugar beets can be planted in the very early spring when the ground is still somewhat cool. A sugar beet seed is a very tiny seed. I do hope to make it back up here when I get into the sugar beet full swing so I can show you some of the bigger stockpiles and so forth. But for now, got lots of great on the ground and drone footage of all the action. If you're watching this video and you're a sugar beet grower, work for a sugar beet grower, I'd love to hear from you what part of the country or what part of the world you're from, uh, what type of machinery you use. I would like to get a little more in depth on one of these machines, maybe ride in the cab and so forth and get some closer looks. But like I said, my time here was limited, but hey, this is a start.
And as I said earlier, this stockpile you see in the field here is only going to keep for three or four days with these warmer temperatures until it is loaded up and hauled away to the processing plant.
And now to load the sugar beets from the field off the ground into the truck is this machine called the Ropa Mouse. This is another European built machine. Very interesting machine you see here. Does all kinds of things. It does have a transport mode and folds out automatically to this mode here. It does have an integrated scale system on it so it can weigh how many sugar beets it is loading onto the truck. Now you look at this machine, you do see that counterweight hanging off to the other side there. I'm told that's also the fuel tank. Anyways, I got some great drone shots of this thing doing its thing, got some on-the-ground shots, got to get up by the cab and so forth, but the operator can spin the cab around, the seat and everything, and get a total view of what he is doing. Looks like the company that builds this machine also builds their own sugar beet harvester as well. I did look at their website, so if you want more information on this, I'm not an expert on it, go to their website, Ropa, R-O-P-A, they call it a mouse, spelled M-A-U-S. And how about all the axles on that semi-trailer? That's another sign you're in the state of Michigan. And now you know how it's done. Sure beats shoveling them up off the ground into the truck. Anyways, that was a very interesting machine. I'm glad I was able to find it and share it with you here on YouTube. And there goes 11 axles worth or 42 wheels worth of big rig loaded with sugar beets headed to the processing plant. Roll on 42 wheeler. gonna wrap up this video i sure hope everyone enjoyed it this was a fun video to shoot and to edit 
Anyways, feel free to comment below. Hit that like button. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please go down there and hit that subscribe button. And check back often. There's always great farming content coming to my YouTube channel. I filmed a lot of interesting stuff this fall, so stay tuned for that. If you want to see more of what I'm doing, you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting my social media.